So this technique um, is one that I picked up when I was doing my doctoral work in England, and it's the difference between listening and hearing. Now, I'll define the terms, so you can define them however you like for yourself, but in the way that I'm using them, it's like, hey, did you hear something? I think I heard something. Then you switch into an intentional mode where you're really listening. And there's a big difference between that. And what you find a lot of times, it, getting back to the martial arts stuff, is you know, I would have a student and I would be teaching the student something. And they're, they're hearing me, but they're not listening to me. They're not picking up on the, on, the, on the small details. They're not truly focused in because their mind is wandering and they're someplace else. This happens every day in, in everyday uh, relationships. When I was doing my doctoral work and I was interviewing people, one of the things that I had to learn to do was really listen to them. What happens often is if we're polite, we're, we're silent and we wait to talk because I already know what you're going to say. I already heard it before. I have no interest in listening to you. Not really. So I'll be there and I'll be quiet. And as soon as you stop, then I, it's my turn to go. Well, when you're doing that, when you're waiting to talk and you're not truly listening, there's a few things that happen with that. One of, one of the major things that happens is it's a very dehumanizing thing to have someone do that to you. And you can sense it. You can feel it when somebody's really not listening to you. They may be in the room. They may be staring straight at you. Yeah, they're hearing you. They hear something but they're not actively engaged in listening to you. Not really. And it's not about how long you do it. You can, you can have a profound experience with somebody in a very short period of time if your intention is to really listen to them. Table that part of you who, that says, I already know what this guy's going to say. I've heard it a million times. That's what identity politics is about. That's why the country gets divided and people are so, uh, they're looking to, to get people on their side with a lot of things. They're not really listening to the other side at all. And the other side's doing the same thing to them, and so you get what, they, what was called a discussion, which comes from the same Latin base meaning to strike, a, 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 to, a succussion or a concussion or a discussion has more to do with me beating you up into submission and you trying to do the same to me. Nothing grows out of that. There's nothing emergent that comes out of that. But when you truly listen, then you can go into what David Baum Bohm called a dialogue. The intention is for something unique to come out of it. I'm looking for something to emerge out of it. And you know, it's, it's an amazing thing when you stop and listen to somebody, particularly somebody that you wouldn't typically agree with. It's interesting because you might really learn something. You might get an insight into why they're thinking the way they're thinking. And rather than triggering a a defense mechanism in, in you, it may actually bring you to a new understanding of yourself. It may, it may soften your opinion about something or may radically change it. So give it a try. See, see the next time you're having a conversation with somebody, see if you can actually listen and quiet that part of you, and it's in all of us, that just wants to, I wish the guy would shut up so I could go ahead and talk. See if you can do that, and I think you're going to find it's a powerful technique.